Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to set up codes on the Visual Boy Advance for Game Boy games. So as you can see right here we are looking at my website, specifically Final Fantasy Adventure for the codes are for GameShark. You can always see at the top, pay, top here what the codes are for, either Game Genie or GameShark. Also, you can tell by looking at the code, you'll notice that GameShark codes are all one single blob of text and numbers, whereas Game Genie codes, they're going to look, look a little bit different. So let me show you Game Genie codes. Game Genie codes are going to look like this, and they're going to have dashes in them. Some of them will have three dashes, some of them will only have one dash. So that's how you tell the codes apart. So what we are going to do is we're going to go up here to Cheats, Cheat List, and then we are going to do add game shark code. For the purposes of this guide, we are going to use this infinite HP code right here. Oops, not in that. So we're going to put infinite HP in the top box and then the code in the bottom box, as you can see, click okay. And then the code is going to start out as turned on. You can see here with the little check and this little E means enabled. If we click that, it will go to D, disabled. You can also see the little keynote up there letting us know what these things mean. And that's all there is to it. We just click OK and the code is now active. So you may be thinking to yourself, active? I see 19 HP there. That doesn't look like infinite HP to me. And you would be part right. Technically, we could have infinite HP at 19 HP, but the code technically is uh, active right now, but it's not showing that it's active. So, this is a little bit of a trick. Um, there are going to be some codes in older games like this that you have to actually do something in-game to actually make them work. So, we use the code that is going to give us infinite HP. In an old game like this, the game is not constantly checking the HP memory address. So, we have to give the game a reason to check that memory address to actually activate the code that we're using. Since we're using the HP, infinite HP code, we need to have the game check the HP memory address. Now we can do this one of two ways. We can either like heal ourselves, which will change the memory address, or we can take damage, which is exactly what we're going to do here. So you'll notice that I took one hit and it jumped up to 255, which is a bit odd because normally when you take damage, it should go down and not up. But that's normal because we have the code active. We have the infinite HP active, therefore, we have infinite HP. You'll be able to see that I can take hits over and over and I will never drop below 255 and that is because we have the infinite HP and the code is working. All we had to do in, actually, in order to actually get that code to work was have the game check the memory address once we enable it. And that will be true for a lot of these other codes here. Another thing I would like to bring up too before I actually end this video is these codes right here with the question marks in them you would have to replace the question marks with the value that you want to use. So for example, let's say you want max power because this is the power modifier. So what you would put here is um, either FF or if you look up here, see this max power code? So right here, this 63, in hex, this is 99. 64 would be 100. So max power in this game is 99, which means using FF might not actually give you max power. It just might do nothing or it might crash. And the same would be here. Max stamina 63. You can see it's exactly the same as the stamina modifier, just in place of the two question marks, it has 63. So at, as I think I said earlier, or maybe I said it in a previous video that I discarded, these codes use hex, uh, hexadecimal, basically. And if you have any issue figuring out what value of hex you want to use in place of these question marks, Google hexadecimal calculator and you will get a, basically there's a whole bunch of tools online that will allow you to convert real numbers, I guess, as you would call them into hex, hex no, codes. So basically if you put in something like 12, it's going to give you um, OB, or sorry, 0B, I think, which would be 12 in hex. It might be 0C. I've been up for like 16 hours, so my math isn't perfect at this time. But that's really all there is to it. That's how you would get codes to work on Visual Boy for Game Boy or Game Boy Color games. 
If you would like to see a written version of this guide, I strongly recommend you go to my website, almarsguides.com, and you will be able to find a written version of this guide on my website. On any of these code pages, just click this link here, how to set up codes for Game Boy slash Game Boy Color, and you will be able to find the guide that I'm talking about. Also, you'll be able to find a link to this video. But anyway, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave me a like because that helps me out. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future videos for retro video games. Peace.